He's been doing very, very well, by the way, uh, getting a lot of exercise, a lot of socialization, so he's doing really well. He definitely sends you his love. Um, we're going to be working on stay with some distractions and also distance. And um, because of his heightened state of anxiety, usually when he sees the leash, he gets really, really excited. He thinks he's gonna go home. So he's a little anxious right now. So what I'm going to do is slowly, slowly go into the stay and just baby steps. So have him stay, back up a little bit. Because he has uh, been in this area before, he is familiar with it. However, distractions really, really get him going, and he's really interested in them. So this area, with limited amount of distractions, is a great place for him to start working. And the distractions that I'm going to be incorporating into this are simply things that would perhaps uh, shock a dog, get them um, uh, maybe a little excited or something like that, which we want to make sure that we can have Koa leave certain things alone. So by staying and ignoring the distractions, he will in turn get a reward, which is a delicious piece of food. And we need to use only positive reinforcement in this situation. So when we're working with Koa at home, and of course he's comfortable in the home environment and you know, he'll wait at the door for you, or you know, he'll practice stays and he'll do a great job. But when you do bring him out, into uh, perhaps a park setting or something with other people around, the distractions might get the better of him. So when we do have him uh, practice out in a park or something like that, I really highly recommend uh, getting a long training leash. Um, you can get them at Petco or Amazon online and um, they're really useful. Having a long training leash, 15, 20, even 30 feet long, making sure that we can uh, go over these commands in a different location, but also making sure we have complete control over COA. And also, the timing in which you may uh, go to these places is key. So go at a time when perhaps not very many people are there and work with him. So, with the stay, just like I said, we're gonna start off very, very slowly, and I have a jug here, I have some toys, and I also have something that's going to make a lot of noise. So when we do have a situation where there's something going on, the dog is getting a little bit nervous, it's always a good idea to have really high value treats, but we want to make sure that we work up to um, exposing him to those different situations. So in this environment, he has his little paws fast right now. In this environment, with something simple like a loud noise without Koa reacting, um, you know, running away or getting really startled or anything. I want to make sure that he checks in with me. So we're going to be making a loud noise. He's going to be hopefully still in a stay and he's going to be checking in with me. By that, I mean I want to make sure that he has eye contact with me. So you as the pack leader need to be really, really confident and strong. And if he checks in with you, Maybe something fell, or there's a loud noise, or there's, you know, a guy coming up, having him sit and wait or stay. Perhaps the guy comes around, please don't touch my dog, we're in training right now. You want him to focus on you instead of that distraction. So he'll be getting treated when he does focus on me instead of a distraction like the noise or the toys, for example. Okay. Come on. Here, bud. Sit. Good boy. Good sit. Stay.
let's start working with these distractions. You ready, buddy? Good. Sit. Good sit. All right. So, uh -uh. all right. So he knows something's going on, and I do have him at a sit, and I'm going to ask him to stay. And what I'm going to do is use my distractions, but I'm not going to give him a whole bunch of distance right now. And I also want to make sure that the leash has a decent amount of slack on it. I really want to refrain from getting very tense or trying to hold Koa back, afraid that he's going to uh, go somewhere else other than where I'm asking him to be. But I want to have slack on the leash so it feels like I'm not even there. And when we do have a situation perhaps where Koa gets a little tense, maybe he wants to go forth and see someone, want to make sure that at that point in time, instead of using a lot of tension, we can either just lure Koa back, come on Koa, lure Koa back with a high value treat or something like that, instead of pulling all the time. All right.
ignoring um, and not approaching. So he got a little bit excited in the beginning, a little tense. Instead of me doing this, I just did a little bit and then I asked him to come towards me. He did a really good job though. That was a surprise puppy. Let's try this again. Good job, though. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Come on.